Hi, my name is Kat. Welcome to my first ever vlog. I'm excited that I've never done this before, so apologies if it's terrible and awkward and we're gonna try. Um, so I wanted to show you what I'm currently reading. So um, that is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the Dutch translation my native language. Um, this is the sequel to The Name of the Wind, um, which if you didn't know it's about a wizard called Kvothe and he's a living legend, everyone knows his name, stories are being told about him. Um, and there is this historian who wants to write about him, but he wants the true story, not just the legends. And so he goes to Kvothe and he asks, tell me about your life. And Kvothe says, okay, but I need three days to do so. And so book one is what he tells on the first day, this is what he tells on the second day, and book three, which isn't out yet, will be the third day. Um, and yeah, I'm really loving this. The writing is beautiful. I love Kvothe. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. I don't know. I'm this far into it, by the way. I have 250 pages left. I don't know if I'll finish it this week. Um, we'll see. I also have my next read. I haven't started this yet, but my next read will be The Wolf by Leo Carew, which is for a read-along hosted by Leanna's Library. Um, I want to try to get it in. I think even if I don't finish The Wise Man's Fear this week, I'm going to start this one already, um, just because I want to be able to finish it in November, and I don't know because it's I mean, it's not, it's not huge for a fantasy book, but still, how many pages is it? It's like 450, so. Um, but, well, we'll see if, um, I'm going to try to start it this week. If not, then next week, it's, it's fine. I get behind on reading longs all the time, so. Anyway, that's what I'm reading um, right now. So, um, I'm gonna go read a bit more. Bye. Hi, it's the next day. We're in the exact same location as last time. Um, I've read a bit more in The Wise Man's Fear. Um, not, not a lot. A little bit, I didn't have a lot of time yesterday. But when I talked to you last time, um, I was in a bit that was, I didn't love it, it was with um, Ellurian, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I didn't love that bit. It's a bit random. And um, I wasn't a huge fan of that solo now, so I'm happy. Been last too long. Um, but one thing, we're now starting yet another plot thread. I'm going to like yet another location to do different stuff and I had heard before I started this that people thought that it didn't resolve enough and start too much and that they were scared that he wasn't able to resolve everything in the third book and so that there would be like threads that he couldn't tie up while also keeping with the meandering slow nature of the series and i'm starting to see that i'm really starting to see that there's so many things that need to be resolved and fixed and I mean, I don't mind that end in a story like this. I mean, it's about his life and it's very character focused. So like, if there's something stuck, it doesn't lead to somewhere. It's 
it's just fine. It's very things that clearly need to be resolved. Um, I need, like, nothing else can start now, and I need at least one or two things to be resolved in this book, in like the last 200 pages of this book. <sighs> Otherwise, I... <sighs> I'm not hopeful. <laughs> and maybe that's the reason why it's taking so long, short. Sorry, because he's realizing it, I need more than one book to do all this. I hope he can do it. I hope he surprises me. But um, I don't know. Hi, it is Thursday now. Um, I wanted to film an update yesterday, but it was my birthday then, so I was kind of busy. But I did um start the wolf by leo Carew yesterday um i haven't made any progress on the wise man's sphere yet uh, so i don't have any updates on that but i did start this one um i love this font it's huge i mean it's it's, it's probably not that big but i'm used to like the teeny tiny font in the wise man's sphere for like the past two weeks so like this is i'm feel like I'm flying through the pages <laughs> because there's so much less text on these pages um it's insane but um I should probably tell you what this is about so it is um about a war um between the north and the south and the south are just normal people i guess um but the north i think they get a lot older they um like not really gods i think and then i don't think they're really immortal but they just live a lot longer and they have like some god-like traits um but they um, don't like wealth, they don't like luxury, I believe, and comfort, and they're just live in the wilderness and, you know, um, and so there's a war between those, and that's this book, um, so that's usually, like, that's not my type of book, if it weren't for the real long Host by Leanne Lazar, I probably wouldn't have picked this book. Um, but I want to try to join this month. I was going to try to join for the second book in December, but I know that like the third book in January is not going to happen um, because I have exams then and like I can't read a high adult fantasy in English while also having exams that's that's something i'm not gonna do so it won't be i'm not gonna do that but i'm gonna try for the first two books to show because it's not super long as i said this one is kind of big and it's okay it's still 450 pages but i mean after like the wise man's fear with its tiny font and like 900 pages it's almost a novella. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just filmed my booktube newbie tag and I still feel cringe. <laughs> um, it should already have gone off by now, um, but apologies because that video is really cringe. Um, I also don't know how to edit. And kind of me just doesn't, like, part of me just can't be bothered. So maybe I'm just gonna not edit it. And like the one take shot, it's not too long, so it's fine. And with my vlogs, I don't think I'll edit a lot. Just put the clips together, and that's it. 
I'll just embrace the cringe and let my perfectionist slide. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Anyway, I have to go now, I think. Almost. So, I'll talk to you when I have another update. Bye. Hi. So, it's Sunday evening. Um, and I've got a lot to talk to you about. This, I think this will be the last clip of the vlog. I'm going to end it here and then start a new vlog for the new week. Um, so, wrapping up the week. Um, I finished The Wise Man's Fear today. Uh, I really loved it. I love how the plot just meanders along. It's very character focused. Um, and, and the writing is very lyrical. But that's not really a new thing that has been said a lot about the series. Um, yeah, I really, I really like it. I love how slow it is and it feels very cozy. Um, we got introduced to like a third magic system in this one. We already had two in the first book. And then now an extra one. Um, and I love how Kvothe also really doesn't know how it works. Because, I mean, we have like one hard and then one softer, but Kvothe still like can use it. But this one is completely out of his reach. And I like that. Um, we got some other things as well, where he is a little less. What is it called? Gary Stew? Is that what the trope is called? Um, like, it's just not. It's not like good at everything from the first time. Um, some things which I appreciated. Um, there were some moments that I was like. Okay, what's the point of this? What are we doing here? Um, which I didn't mind. Like, there was in the first book, we had some of those moment of, moments as well. I didn't mind. Um, but there were just, like, a couple of sections, like, after each other that were like that. And I was like, okay, I wanna... Let, let's, let's go with the plot a little bit, please, now. Um... Because it's the thing that you, you get, um, you really get the sections in it, which I also like. Um, so you go to a, like, you're in a certain place, and then you have a goal here, and then that's over, and then you go to the next place, and then you get, like, you're in the decal here, and then you go to the next place. And so it's almost like you get, like, episodes in a TV show. Um... Which gives you like the feeling that even though it's a very long book and it takes long to read, like it gives you the feeling that at least you're finishing something, which um, is really motivating to continue on. Um, also short chapters, which also contribute to that feeling. So um, yeah, I really like that. Um, yeah, I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would like to read book three, but it's not out at this moment. Um, so I have to wait. I just, I love this series. If you haven't read the King Killer Chronicles and anything I've said sounds appealing to you, I highly recommend you pick it up. But after like the slow and meandering nature of um, The Wise Man's Fear, I was in the mood for a thriller, something fast-paced, really quick, and so I started the Therapist by B. A. Paris. Um, every time I start a thriller, I'm 
surprised at how fast they go. Like I, I started this this afternoon. I don't know if you can see that. I started this this afternoon, and I only have a ton to go. But I'm at page like one twenty five already. Um, which is pretty amazing. Um, but this book is about a woman, and she and her boyfriend move into a new house. And they uh, find out the previous inhabitant of that house, the therapist of the title, uh, was murdered there. And so our main woman really freaks out and it's this gated community and like everyone has secrets and stuff. It's a thriller, basically. Um, and it, it's it's very entertaining, and as I said, it reads very quickly. Um, I did have in like the first couple of chapters, there were some time jumps, um, and they were quite jarring because it was like never indicated when a time jump would happen. Um, so like days would just be skipped with no indication whatsoever and it was a little bit like oh okay we're somewhere else now i guess and like there was also one time where we had like a flashback and i thought we we're still in the flashback but then one of them like said something which referred to like the modern day thing so somewhere the flashback stopped but I have no idea where. So, um, it can, it can be quite jarring to read, but those were only the first, like, couple of chapters. After that, it got a lot better. So, um, yeah. Also, one problem that I have with this book, <laughs> the main character, when she finds out that this woman is murdered in her house. Her reaction is so over the top. I mean, she's so mad at it and, and that they hit that from her and they lied to her. And at first she thinks that... Wait, is that a spoiler? I think that might be a spoiler. Just to be sure I'll not mention it, but she just and she's like, oh no! Everyone thinks I have no feelings because I just go live in this house where this woman is murdered. And I'm like, it, it's a house. It's fine. Um, and you understand that, like, when you hear that at first, she's a little, oh, um, and 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 get like creeped out for like a little bit. But this is going on for days, and she's just raging and at people that they didn't tell her before and like that now she looks very selfish and heartless and I don't know it's so weird like this reaction is so much but yeah it's 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 keeping me entertained the book um I'm enjoying the overall experience, um, which is what I'm looking for in a thriller anyway. I know that it's not my genre, so I know that I'll always have problems with it. Um, but it's keeping me entertained, so that's the therapist. Um, so this is now the end of the vlog. Um, yeah, I, I uploaded my booktube movie tag a couple of days ago, and I was a little bit nervous, but I got a lot of very nice comments from you guys, so thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, so I think that's everything I wanted to say. Um, it was 
quite a successful month, I think. I mean, I finished The Wise Man's Fear, which I'm very happy with. I started The Wolf. I started The Therapist. I read quite a big chunk of that. So, I'm happy. Um, I hope that I will see you again in the next vlog or next video in general. And so, yeah, I will talk to you later.